I can feel it Somewhere inside haunting Like a drug I keep on wanting There's a love that fits so perfect It's hard to believe There's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating And the air gets tough just breathing I'm alone but I'm still feeling like someone's with me It's strange Time is unfair Cause I know you're out there somewhere Patient waiting on unaware Feeling like your grip might slip too soon But I'm running Chasing speed and gunning I'll be right there all of a sudden I feel your heartbeat lead me straight to you maybe go through the food and get rid of some stuff so I might just go ahead and include that and I also need to my husband has been really irritated with the medicine cabinet so I'm gonna go through that really quick as well and get rid of stuff because I know it needs done and my spice cut and spices are up here so I'm gonna do that really quick and my cups I just did these not that long ago so I don't think there's really anything that I want to get rid of with my cups. Um, we have a lot of glasses, which I don't know why we have so many glasses, but I just decluttered my cups, honestly not that long ago. I think when I moved to the new house, like a lot of these cups are just really cheap from like the dollar store and they, they're kind of like stained and stuff. So when we moved to the new house, I think what I'm gonna do is like, um, when we get everything like moved in and everything, I think I'm going to start throwing some of these old nasty cups away or take them to the camp or something and use them at the camp and buy new ones for this cup cabinet. That's like a goal of mine that I want to do is start replacing some of my old stuff. Like stuff like that that's going to take time to accumulate because it can get expensive. Um, maybe not like these plastic cups, but like if I want to buy like nicer cups. Um, I'd also like to have a nice silverware set one day. I have like cheap silverware and I'd like to have like a nice plate set one day. Those were plates that were honestly here when we moved in so they were somebody else's. Or uh, they were my uncle's plates or whatever that he left here. They're nice plates though. There's nothing wrong with them. We like them. Um, 
But you know what I mean? I'd like to have a set that I pick out that I really like one day. Those are just like little goals, you know, that I want to do once we move to our house and work on stuff like that. But for now, none of this here needs done. But this freaking mess over here does. So I'm going to do that and then go through my food cabinets really quick. And that's probably all I'm going to do for today because I do want to spend time with Cole and take him outside. If it's such a big deal that they expired, you still can't use them. I don't really know, but something about expired any kind of food grosses me out. But I don't know why I didn't check these sooner. Cause some, some of these are so old, you guys. I'm so disgusted. And all this medicine is out of code. I don't know why this medicine was expired. So I'm just going to throw it away. And it's time to go because Cole is wanting my attention in the worst way. And I feel super bad right now. So I'm going to go. It's very hard for me to film with him. But I'm glad that I got my kitchen completely done. And me and Cole's gonna go have lunch now. But I'm gonna film the rest of this video hey tomorrow. So it is the next day now, and we are going to tackle these cabinets over here. And then I also gotta do like some totes out in my shed. So I might go ahead and include that in the video too. But I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started with these cabinets. <laughs> I'm pushing myself to the edge, my little boy, I'm 
dressed to myself by the ways I've been pushing my mind to the most I've been loving the people around me Yeah, so paranoid, so paranoid Yeah Cut off the wires When I close my eyes Disconnected and tired
all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Everything else you guys saw me, like a lot of the stuff in these um, cabinets over here got thrown in the trash. It was just like junk and old papers and stuff like that. So um, this is stuff here on the table that need to go in a box. So I'm going to do that real quick. And I'm done in here. We're going to move out to the shed. So that was a beating. But the bottom cabinets actually weren't that bad. It was the drawers that were really bad, which I knew they would be. Does anybody else have junk drawers in their house? Because I have too many. And that's why having this many cabinets is not good for me because a lot of the stuff that just gets thrown in there and I cannot stand it. Um, I organize it and then it's just a mess all over again. Does anybody else have that problem? <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I have a box over here that has the stuff that I got rid of out of the kitchen yesterday. I don't know how much of this I can fit in there. But I'm not going to worry about pricing none of this stuff today. I just want to get it gone through and then I can work on pricing it through the week. And I can do that with Cole because he's not, he doesn't really bother me with that kind of stuff. Like, it's just the going through stuff. It's kind of hard to do with him. So I feel like it's a little easier to sit with him in the living room and I can work on pricing this kind of stuff just during the week a little bit here and there. And I'm not going to worry about doing that today because we have some other stuff we need to do today. And I'm not going to kill myself. So, <laughs> so I'm going to put this into a box boxes and we're going to move out to the shed. Hey guys, this is a little too overwhelming and a lot for me to have to film with the rest of the clips that I got. So I'm just going to stop this video here and hope that you guys enjoyed the declutter that I did in my house. I did not realize how much stuff was in our shed. This would have to be a whole separate video and I'm not really going to do that today um, because I was going to price some stuff as I go along and I got to go through all these totes so it's going to be a really long process. So I do apologize for that but I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that I did get. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys.
So I forgot to tell you guys that I moved down my electric skillet off my microwave and I replaced it with this family and friends decor sign which I think it looks so much better up there. I also had a wine bottle of wine that we never drank so I got rid of it and it was sitting right beside the microwave and then on top of it beside the electric skillet there was a West Virginia mug which is you guys can see how big that is and you guys have probably seen it in my previous videos but I decided that we can get rid of that and take that down to the camp and my husband never drinks out of it we rarely use the electric skillet unless we're making hamburgers or something so I got rid of that stuff so yeah I feel different just walking out here and seeing like a difference with the space that I've created even though I could still probably get rid of some stuff I just like and I also added my little nightlight out here but I just like how much space that I have created that wasn't there before so I have created a lot more space this over here you know is kind of much but we use this every day uh, the stuff on my stove we use every day <laughs> you know and then my utensils I use those every day so I'm not gonna get rid of those my spice rack we use it a lot because it's got spices in it and it's easy access just to grab it cutting boards I use all the time and I moved this one over here which now that the toaster and the um, can opener is gone, I love this. Like, this space over here is so much better. Like, it's going to be so much easier for me to maneuver tasks over here and get dinner ready and do just, like, whatever I need to do over here. It's going to be such an easier prepping area that I'm just so happy with the way that it turned out. And I hope that I have inspired you guys to declutter hey guys, a little bit in your welcome house. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another cleaning video for you guys. And today we are tackling my grandma's garage cellar. And she just really had a lot of stuff that she wanted to declutter and get rid of. And I was super happy to help her out because that is my favorite thing to do. So I'm just showing you a before shot of everything in her little cellar. She has a refrigerator, she has a sink and a toilet in there as well as a bunch of shelves with all kind of stuff. So she wanted to get rid of these vases and donate them. So um, we are basically just going to get rid of all these flower vases. And like I said, this is my favorite thing to do is to declutter and to organize things so I was really excited about doing this um, job for her today so yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video I'm probably gonna pop in and out through the video and explain to you guys like what I'm just trying to do a little bit but I probably won't talk the whole entire video so um yeah we're just putting the vases into some boxes and then I'm handing them out to her so that is what I'm doing first is we are getting rid of everything before I wipe down the shelves and I will be using just some like soapy water and vinegar to wipe the shelving down and the shelves that are way up top I actually could not reach so um, what I did with that is I just took a straw broom and I swept those off that way if you guys are wondering but um, yeah so now I'm moving down to the second shelf here or the third shelf whatever you call it and I'm taking all that stuff off so there's just a bunch of random vases and jars and she had not had time to um, just go through everything so I really was happy to do this job because <laughs> I just love making a difference in something so now I am taking the straw broom and I'm going up around the guys so um, yeah that was like a plus we got rid of a lot of stuff wiping the shelves off over here and I'm going to be reorganizing everything over on these shelves and my goal was to put like all the oil and the car stuff and the bug spray over here and the paint as well but I wanted to just organize it better so I'm putting all the paint up top because she said she rarely ever uses the paint but she didn't want to get rid of it because it was good so we are putting all the paint up top together 
and yeah and then I think I'm gonna move down to the next shelf and do the car oil and I'm also going to be doing the bug spray So here I'm just showing you guys that I put all of her water hose um, sprayers into a small little glass, well it's not a glass, but just like a little um, metal can that she had just to keep them all together because she did have a lot and they, most of them were still good. <laughs> tackle the toilet in the sink which was pretty bad so um, I definitely was glad that she had some comment I am going to be using gloves for this part just because I felt like I needed just needed some gloves um, you guys know like in a lot of my cleaning videos that I don't normally wear gloves but when I'm tackling a job that just um, it's kind of needed um, a, a good amount of cleaning or just um, that hasn't been done in a while. I do like to like wear some gloves and especially when I'm using Comet because it does have bleach and whenever um, I don't know just with Comet because I don't use it a lot. I don't use it at my house But I have used it before and it does a good job. I just don't use it But um, that's what she had and it cleaned the toilet pretty well and now I'm also using the same stuff to clean her um, sink with and the stuff that wouldn't come off on the sink was actually like old paint from where people had washed their hands after painting things so um, I scrubbed the best that I could with the sink but um, I mainly was I mean I was still able to get it pr way cleaner than what it was so that was a plus <laughs>
scrape up all the dirt off the floor, but I'm actually gonna do this side first, and then I'm gonna do the other side after I get done rearranging all the canning jars and everything like that. You guys will see. If you guys wonder why I don't show sweeping the whole room right here, I do show it at the end, but I just wanted to finish getting it halfway swept like over where I already cleaned. So that is what I'm doing here. There was a good amount of dirt on the floor, so you guys will be able to see toward the end how much dirt was actually on the floor. So I'm doing that. She actually wanted me to put her refrigerator shelves that she don't use ever, but she just keeps extra ones on top because she won't need to get up there to get them anytime soon so she don't use them. So that's why I stuck those way up top. And then I'm going to be reorganizing and just wiping down the shelves on this side of the cellar and just kind of like putting all the same canning stuff together so it's all organized like all the tomato juice, all the applesauce, the jelly, pickles, and so forth. And then all the empty jars I'm going to put together and then there was a ton of empty, well not empty, but empty jars that were in boxes that I wanted to get off the floor and put those up on the shelf as well. So I will be doing that, you guys will see. Before I get done and get ready to sweep the floor, I wanted to wipe the freezer and the refrigerator off. So I decided to go ahead and wipe that stuff down as well. And if you guys are wondering about the rags in the video, um, I did have a couple of different rags. These are not like the same rags I used to clean the toilet with. Um, I actually cleaned the toilet and threw those rags away. So if you guys are wondering, I did not use all the same rags. They are different rags. finished sweeping the floor and this was the last thing that was on my list to do in the cellar today so as you guys can see that's a pretty big dirt pile so um, I am definitely just gonna try to get up as much dirt as I can off the floor and then I'm also gonna take this little shovel because she actually didn't have like a dustpan out there so I'm just gonna take this shovel and scoop the dirt up and throw it away 
and yeah there was a good amount of dirt that come off the floor and it looked so much better when I was done so I hope you guys found this video motivating and I hope it got you inspired to do some decluttering and some cleaning be sure to give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoy these types of videos and if you like seeing my cleaning videos at my grandma's house um yeah and subscribe if you are new i make new videos every single week and yeah can't you guys tell that this was a huge difference afterwards so hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next video i love you guys Bye. Just about anything and i'm going to use it today to store some of my stuff in from my pantry and i also got these little baskets not really sure what we're going to be doing with those but i feel like there's definitely organizing tool so I got those and then I also got two containers and I got these at the dollar store so these are just really simple like you could put cereal in them flour stuff like that so it just kind of looks a little bit neater because I know like sometimes you can just be overwhelmed with like like the way cereal is boxed and you know flower bags and just it just really looks junky after a while I feel like these containers just make everything look a lot neater and a lot more organized so without further ado let's get started sorry the angle is like a little bit messed up at the moment but I'm going to use some regular vinegar water and then I'm just going to use a microfiber dusting cloth or just like a, a cloth, whatever you want to use to clean with. And, you know, you guys have seen my videos, you guys know what I do. I do, um, I, I was going to mix up some pine saw, but I'm actually out of pine saw, so I won't be doing that. But the vinegar water will work just as good. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I put my little black cube together and I want to put maybe like all my bottled like stuff in this cube so like all of my canola oil like my oils just kind of set these down inside even though I kind of feel like you won't be able to see it that might not work I don't know we will see guys I have a big thing of syrup so the top shelf, if you guys like were wondering, like we don't use it a lot. Like I feel like like I use this stuff, but like I would like to convert everything down to these two bottom shelves, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to to master that or not. I notice I'm starting from top to bottom because I want like when I wipe the things out, I want the dirt to kind of fall down so it'll go to the floor and then I can vacuum it or sweep it up. Cause like I'm sure these cabinets are pretty dirty and dusty. I don't like it because I don't have cabinet doors on them still and um, my dad got stuff for me to put them on there so we just got to put them on yet and I think it'll look I'll be so happy when there's actual cabinet doors on these on this thing because most people's pantries are closed up but I do keep mine regularly wiped out just so you guys know like we mainly just use this bottom one and this stuff up here is like our flour sugar stuff like that so like I don't always wipe the shelving out of these every once in a while will but they really need done so that's why I'm making this video for you guys today that you can get at the dollar store or Walmart or wherever as well it looks it's like a cereal container but you can use it for whatever you want to so I'm going to put some of this stuff in these containers So it actually wasn't as dirty as I thought it was, which makes me feel a little bit better now. <laughs> so, um, okay, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is like here I got some brown sugar, flour, granulated sugars, and I got some confectionate sugar as well. Peanuts, these need to go somewhere else, I think. I just don't want them over here anymore. Um, these need to go, period. These were on my wire rack, which I'm going to turn into a plant rack, so they're just temporarily up there, which they need to go because they're going to get on my nerves. So I'm having trouble trying to figure out what I want to organize, so I'm going to come back and then like figure out what I want to do. So I put my syrup in like all my oils and 
in this black tote on the second shelf. It'll be a lot easier if you need to access it on that second shelf than the top shelf because the bin is a little bit heavy, so if you guys don't want to put all that heavy stuff in one thing, then I like totally understand why you wouldn't because it's just kind of hard to get it down, but I'm going to put our charcoal back up here because it's something that we rarely ever use only in the summertime, so I'm going to put it back up top, and I didn't even know it was up there because it was clear in the back, so I want to kind of face this stuff as well toward the front, so I'm going to come back when I know more of what I'm going to do with these containers. my charcoal up here because we don't ever use that I decided to use this shelf more for things that we rarely ever use so we make pancakes every once in a while but it's not something that we do every day so I thought maybe I'd put the pancake mix up top and I think I'm gonna take the syrup out of here and put the syrup up with the pancake mix so then I took the sugar and put in this container and labeled it as well as sugar and this is going to go on the second shelf because we use sugar all the time. So I'm going to take out my pancake mix out of here and put it up top. And then um, I also have another bottle of it. So I'm just going to kind of nicely face this up top here. So now we have the pancake mix with my two bottles of syrup up top, which I think looks pretty good. So next, in here I still have my oils, apple cider vinegar, and my Pam spray inside of this little box. So I have that, and I think what I'm going to do now is um, I got another little container down here. I got two containers left, and I gotta figure out what I wanna put in them. No guys, this is really really hard. I did put my brown sugar and my cornstarch and I put powdered sugar in this thing just because like I have way too much. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of set this back and then I'm gonna face the front with some of my more used things like cooking oil because I use it more than this stuff I feel like. So the stuff that I put in this thing, I rarely use it. Um, and when I do, I'll know where it's at. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have my, also I have some breadcrumbs. I rarely use those unless I'm making a certain thing. So I'm gonna also put it down into this black box container as well. And I'll know where all that stuff is. If I need it, I just have to like get this stuff out of the way. And all my stuff that I need is back in this little thing. So it just kind of keeps it hidden off because all that stuff piled together to me looked really junky. So this is what I decided to go ahead and do with this facing. Um, I don't know. It makes sense to me, but like it might not be the best organized. But this is just like what I'm trying to do to figure out how to better organize my little pantry section. It's not very big anyways, but... So now I'm finally down to the first shelf, which I'm excited to do because that's the one that we eat every day from. So it'll be a little bit better probably to organize. I think for my black little container box, I think I want to put chips in here because we have so many chips and my husband actually has probably four or five bags with him now that I packed in his little uh, to go little lunch for his football journey game today. So I want to put, definitely want to put chips in this because I feel like 
chips, so many bags of chips in there make it look so trashy. So like, that's what I want to use this for is chips. So this is the chip box. <laughs> And this is my Boom Chicka Pop that I've had for a while, and it's probably going to go stale if I don't eat more of it. So I might give some of it to my mom, because I just kind of want to get rid of it. I, I mean, I like it, but I haven't ate, like, too much of it. Like, this bag was way too big for me. It says it's good till February 2017, so I might put a little bit of this in a bag for my mom and see if she wants some of it. And just kind of to get rid of this big ass bag. It's like too big for my little pantry space. So I'm going to figure out something else to do with this. I have this little container left, which is really great for these granola bars. They're about the size of this, guys. They're just like little granola bars. And if you just put those down in there like that, look at that. That's like simple storage. And I think that's where I had them before, but I wanted to show you guys what I did with them. And then I have some more boxed granola type things that I can probably fit down in there to label them if you don't want. I did label the sugar and the flour just because that's kind of confusing because they're both white, obviously. So I'm going to put those over here, her little granolas. And then these baskets, I'm not really sure what to do with these little baskets that I got. I thought maybe I could put this loose stuff in them or I could even maybe go ahead and get rid of this box too of granola bars. Oh, this is kind of random, but I guess you could use this, these little baskets for this like type stuff if you would like, like to. I mean, you can, I think it looks better than having all them boxes in there. I didn't get any containers for my cereal, but if you want to put your cereal in containers, I think that would be a better way to go than using the box, but I didn't get none of those today, so I'm not going to be using those, so I'm just going to neatly stack my cereal in the back, should move it over so you guys can see a little bit better in there, and then crackers, and this was deer jerky that somebody gave us, so it's just kind of randomly going to go in here, nuts that we were working on eating as well, so that's just random stuff, that's mainly it that's in my pantry right now um the thing is like i might move some of this stuff around a little bit because it's gonna be kind of hard to access your chip box with these baskets in the way so that's kind of frustrating really but you could like totally make it work some other way <laughs> but i know that's probably going to drive my husband crazy so i'm going to have to figure out like some other way maybe to like access it better like maybe bring the box the chip box up front it's probably going to be the best way to go for me but like I don't know guys that's all I'm going to do right now in there but I think it looks a lot better than it did before it definitely looks a little bit more organized so Hey guys, so first off, I just want to say if you guys hear any noise in the background, my family is currently here, so I'm trying to quickly film this voiceover for you guys, but in today's video, I basically want to focus on um, redoing my closet, and since we're getting rid of my dresser that's in the closet, I wanted to just kind of maybe declutter a little bit, and then just organize my clothes and try to fix it up because I honestly hated how it currently was. So um, you guys will see at the end of the video, but I love how it turns out and it's so much more organized and less decluttered or yeah, it's more decluttered. I mean, I do get rid of some clothes, but 
So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. I'm just going to like, it takes me a while to figure out how I want things to be. I just kind of mess around with it for a little bit before um, I get it the way that I want. And sometimes I have to move things multiple times before I even like it. Um, let me know if you guys are like that too, but that's just how I work. So I wanna get this dresser out of the closet. And the first thing I'm gonna do is focus on emptying those drawers and putting them in my dresser that I am keeping. So my goal was to have all my clothes in this one dresser and that's what we're doing. So um, I, we're going to just start by like putting all my clothes in the dresser. Pretty self-explanatory. I don't feel like I need to explain this, but I hope that you guys get some motivation out of today's video and I was super happy that I was able to come up with an idea to film today because I was honestly really didn't know what I was going to do and then we were getting rid of this dresser and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to go ahead and just film what I was doing so you guys would have a new video to watch and it just worked out really well so I was super happy and I hope that you guys like and if you guys want to see more organizing and decluttering let me know because I definitely have some other areas of the house that I want to do this in so um, leave me a comment down below I'd really love to have your guys' comments and feedback on some of these videos um so definitely be sure to go down and leave me your love down below in the comments to take down this plastic container that I've had for a really long time and I like to store my jeans and then I end up putting my leggings in here as well 
So I don't know how I got all my jeans in one um, bottom drawer, but I did. So I was happy with this once I was done. I honestly hated this thing being up on the shelf anyways because I could never reach it. If I wanted something, it was hard for me to pick out my clothes. So um, it was time to get rid of that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start taking all my jeans and stuff out. I'm gonna put them in the bottom drawer. At first I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, but I do end up putting them all in the bottom and then putting my leggings in the second drawer. And at the end of this video, I give you guys kind of like a tour of like everything that I decided to do. So you guys could just stay to the end. You can see everything and I show like what I put in my dresser and stuff if you guys want to just see a little bit more of that. But um, the another thing that I want to focus on in my room today is I want to focus on my shoes a little bit. They were so messy so I come up with this idea. Um, you guys will see a little later. Um, I had an extra basket that had like two blankets in it so I wanted to move my blankets to the hall closet and then I'm going to take my pretty like wedge sandals, nice sandals and just like all my flip flops and put in this basket and it worked out great. I love how it turns out. <laughs> by hanging like my long dresses and long jumpsuits over here um, and then I'm gonna move all my jackets and coats over here which I have a coat and jacket problem it's really pathetic but um, I definitely don't need any coats or anything for the winter time I feel like I have enough coats so I'm just like hanging the long stuff back there first because it honestly wasn't working out the where I had it it was overlapping my other clothes on the bottom and I hated it so I do love the way that it turns out when I'm done. But the way that I work guys is I like to take everything off the shelf and then I'm going to take my little Swiffer duster and spray some in dust on it. And I'm going to dust these closet shelves. You will not believe how dusty these closet shelves actually were. I've never really cleaned them before. So if you guys <laughs> are like me and maybe have just never gotten around to it or just never really wanted to tackle it because I know sometimes it's overwhelming with the closet. To have to take everything down and then clean it but since I was redoing it today it was the perfect opportunity to dust it so I definitely wanted to do that
So I wanted to make sure that I was getting my baseboards cleaned and I had so much dirt on this wall right here. I'm not really sure why. Probably from where all my shoes have like hit the back of the wall maybe. I don't really know why they were so dirt why the wall was so dirty, but it was. So I'm just taking a microfiber cloth and some of my method spray that I had and I'm just going to wipe the baseboard all the way around the closet which hasn't been done in a really long time so I wanted to make sure that I was getting that and then I looked at my shoes and noticed that my boots that I never get to wear very often are like my dressy shoes just I started <laughs> like wiping them all off because I noticed how dirty they was so then I just decided to take all my shoes off this rack and completely wipe it down because there was a lot of dust on the shoe rack as well so I ended up doing that step that I didn't think that I was going to do, but it needed done. So I'm glad that I did it. And um, like I said, my boots had so much dust on them from not being worn and just sitting in my closet. So I wanted to wipe them off really quick. But um, yeah, I don't know you guys. Are you guys, what do you guys hoard? Like as far as your, this will be a good question for you guys to leave a comment. I'd like to read it. Um, what do you guys hang on to the most when it comes to like clothes and shoes? Like... Are you a hoarder when it comes to certain items that you can't part with? And it doesn't have to be clothes and shoes. It can really be anything in your house. But what do you guys hoard? Like, I feel like for me, I have a lot of shoes. And maybe I don't have a lot. I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of shoes that I don't always wear, but I can't part with them. And then certain clothing items I hang on to too because I can't get rid of them. Um, but anything else in my house I feel like I'm pretty good about getting rid of. It's just sometimes when it comes to those sentimental pieces or just um, shoes and clothes. I don't know what it is for me. I just get crazy. <laughs> like I feel like I have too much and I still need to get rid of stuff. But it's like I can't get part with it. So let me know down below. I'd really like to hear your guys' answers on what you like to hoard. Stepped on a path. Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it Alright guys, so I wanted to show you the aftermath of my new closet setup here. I love it so much better now. Um, I did take a couple of things down off the top that I'm actually going to put up in the attic that we don't ever use. So I got a little bit of extra space up on the top of my closet now for whatever. Um, it doesn't really matter. I don't, can't reach much up there. That suitcase in that little bag up there we use when we go and stay places and then sometimes we use our backpacks so they're just hanging over there. I didn't move them and then this is still the same too. We just got our belts hanging here. But I love it now that that dresser is out of here. I got a lot more floor space now and I love what I did with my sandals. Um, I did have blankets in this thing but I decided to, I only had like two blankets in there so it wasn't a big deal to move them. And now I can see all my flip-flops because I did have them in one of these, but I could never really, like I had to pull them down to even see what was in there for me to wear. But now that they're kind of with the rest of my shoes and I love 
it was honestly just looking so junky because I had those sandal wedges wedged in there too and now it's just all nice and neat looking and I got my leggings in the second drawer I got like beanies and stuff in that little top drawer and then in the third drawer it's just my blue jeans and I stuffed those in there they all fit in there though so like I'm happy with it right now um, and then I moved all of my coats and some of my long jumpsuits and dresses over here so they could just hang there and not overlap like they were over here like they were hanging over these clothes and it looked really junky I didn't like it so I got that space for all my coats okay I don't know about anybody else but I have a coat problem there is a lot of coats and I do not wear all of them all the time but I do wear them but I don't I don't know I just don't understand why I have all these jackets and coats there are so many coats and jackets and this is one of my newer ones that I bought at Walmart it's just like a white jean jacket um, because it was on sale so I did buy the hat I don't know I have a coat problem I don't know I have a clothes problem in general I think so <laughs> and then over here I put all my sweatshirts up on this little portion over here so I got all my hoodies and stuff back in that hole and then all my my husband's sweatshirts were all right here so I thought it kind of made sense to put my sweatshirts up there and then down here I think this looks even better too because this was really cramped when everything all my clothes were just piled over here this was really tight you like couldn't fit anything else and now we have all kind of space and room and I think it just looks a lot nicer so I got all my long sleeves back here short sleeves and then all my tanks are right here and then those are all my husband's like some of his work shirts and like casual shirts he's got right there and then that say the same he keeps all of his dressy shirts here and then his blue jeans are hanging up right there so yeah um and then as far as the shelves go i have bathing suits right here and then this is like my computer stuff that I have just in a bin right now because I don't have nowhere to set that out. Plus, I feel like it looks better tucked away where you can't see it because it's kind of junky. And then my jewelry box, my husband's like little thing that he likes has got some stuff in it. And I think his dad gave him that, so that's like his stuff. And then I put all the hats. We don't ever wear these hats. I don't know why we have them because they never get worn. So I just put them right there. So yeah, I really, really love the new setup now like I'm very very happy with it and I think it just looks a lot better so out here I wanted to show you guys what I got rid of these are all the clothes that I got rid of today um, there's a good little pile here um, of shirts that I just don't ever wear so I got rid of them and then this little tripod doesn't fit what I what I was gonna use it for my aunt gave it to me so um I'm probably just going to put that with the, the get rid pile. And then this is all stuff, guys, that is like that came out of my dresser that I had junked in there forever. But they're like cards and basically stuff that needs to go into a scrapbook. And some of it's Kohl's and then some of it's just like a scrapbook that I was going to make to have all these stuff that I was keeping in. So I got to get some scrapbooks so I can finish this project here and get rid of this stuff. So for now I put them in this bin that my flip flops were in. And I'm just going to put it up in the attic because I haven't got to do scrapbooks yet. But I want to do that maybe this fall. I do want to sit down and like work on some of that. And I got to clean my mess up over here. But I have one more drawer to go through and this is like the blankets and sheets. So um, a lot of that I'm probably going to end up putting in the yard sale because we don't need those sheets and my husband didn't like the ones that I bought for our bed a while back they, he said they were just too freaking hot which I agree with it's really hard to find sheets that's why the ones that are on our bed is literally our only set so I do need to get another set because it's kind of a pain in the butt only having one set of sheets um, so whatever the material of these are I love they don't make you hot they actually keep you really cool but I got them off Amazon like two years ago and I do love them so we need another sheet set for sure but <laughs> Cole was in here Cole was honestly you guys I'm surprised he, if he hasn't ripped the whole house apart while I've been trying to film this video for you guys but it was either I either film a video and try to film one or I keep driving myself crazy that I'm not getting anything done as far as 
production for these videos so I did at least get this much done today um, for a video and I think that I'm just going to end it here I would love to film some more things for you guys today that I'm actually a need to do but I think I'm just gonna end this video because I need to um, I think I'm gonna take Cole outside maybe for a little while and like play with him do that kind of stuff because I've been busy doing this so I feel bad that I've taken away time from him so I want to do that and um, I guess I can show you guys real quick what's in these dressers before we end off the video, but we got my pajama shorts here, or just like comfortable shorts that, I, they don't have pockets though, so that's like one thing I don't like about them, but they're just a lounging, and then we got all my underwear there, we got brawls over here, socks are in this drawer, which I have, um, too many socks, I have a sock problem apparently as well, um, these are like pajama shirts and then a nightgown that I have here. I got way too many of those as well. And then these are, I tried to cram all my shorts in here. And these were actually missing for a while. These were my American Eagle shorts that I was wondering, like I forgot about them because they were in that plastic thing in the closet. Don't know why they were in there, but I have not wore these now forever. So hopefully I get to wear them now that I found them because I forgot about them. And down here we have sweatpants and pajama pants. So um, the fact that I was able to get everything into one dresser. This is stuff that I'm giving to my friend's little girl that I need to get to her. And then some shirts that I'm keeping that have like logos and stuff on them that I want to hang on to. And some other just sentimental shirts that I can't part with. So um, <laughs> I got everything in one dresser, you guys. And to think that I got rid of everything out of this dresser just shows that I did not need this dresser anymore. So I'm, this is actually going to my husband's daughter. And hopefully we can take it down to her today and get it out of here. But I just no longer felt like I needed that. And they are really excited about having it because I think the dresser that they have is a little beat up. So I think they're really excited to get this dresser. I hope you guys got some cleaning motivation from this video today and liked it. Stay tuned because I do actually want to do Cole's Closet. And we actually got him a bookshelf and it's on the way for all of his books. So that will be nice because Cole literally had no organization for books and it drove me kind of nuts. So we got him a bookshelf. It's on the way. And I think I'm going to tackle his closet next and maybe I need to get him some more hangers and hang up some of more of his clothes. So um, and I need to declutter his clothes too because I think we might be doing some back to school like shopping soon. Um, and getting some fall stuff because I think he's going to need fall clothes. So yeah, I hope you guys liked and stay tuned because I will get another one of these videos up for you guys when I can. Uh, thank you guys so much for being patient. I hope that you did like it and got some motivation from this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times
making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories To come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh
Thank you.